Friends, by the Weber, uh, we have a shower, uh, we have a bucket in our shower at home. And I got to admit that I'm thinking when there's this rain is coming down and coming down, I'm like, really? Is this bucket meaningful? Is individual? And then I hear people say, well, it's ag. What you coastal people do doesn't matter. It's all ag. Your bucket in the shower is meaningless. You're kidding yourself. What do you think? I think uh, what you do, I, I keep your bucket in your shower. I think that is absolutely a, a good way to go. I, actually, uh, the, the governor called on urban water agencies and uh, urban uh, uh, people who live in urban communities to save water. He called, uh, he uh, had an executive <coughs> order in, 20, uh, in 2014 uh, that went up for a year, and people saved almost 25% of the water that they had been using in 2013. So it was it was very impressive. Is that going to stick now that has, we think? It okay. has. It has stuck because uh, now they're they're roughly at 20%, not at 25%, but uh, but they they certainly have have stuck with it, and it is at least from uh, droughts in the past. Uh, when measures have been put in, whether it be technology uh, for efficiency or, or whatever, uh, rarely, uh, well, in fact, never have uh, people gone back to their extremely wasteful ways. They've, they've gone back a little bit, but never so far as they used to. The biggest change, I think, that uh, will we'll need to come is for people to understand what they are paying for when they pay for water. Are they paying for, uh, for a commodity or are they paying for a distribution system and a cleaning system and for, for food or fiber? Are they paying for, some, for other goods that they, uh, that they want and need? And, uh, and so the price is not so much the volume of water, should not be based on the volume of water as, it, as much as, as on what it is, what value you're getting from the water. <laughs>